Steve McCoy, I play King Arthur in Monty Python Spam a lot. Not at all. Only because I didn't know what it was. I didn't know Monty Python was intelligent humor. I thought it was kind of sight gags and crazy and it's it is that but it's also very intelligent and very English which which I love but as a kid I remember watching Flying Circus on Monty Python's Flying Circus on TV and thinking oh wow that, I'm not gonna like this because it just seems crazy If you're a Monty Python fan, you love the stuff that's taken directly from the film, which half of it is, and the other half is completely newly written for the musical. Um, so it appeals to musical theater buffs who love, it spoofs all Andrew Lloyd Webber shows, Fiddler on the Roof, West Side Story, Barbra Streisand. It spoofs all those crazy things as, long, as well as big, huge musical numbers. But it also has direct scenes taken from the Monty Python film. So it's brilliantly written that it appeals to everybody. You know, the dad who's never been to a show before, if he comes to this, will love it. The musical theater vet who goes to everything in town will also love it because that's why we've always said it's so brilliantly written to appeal to a mass audience. Our directors and our choreographer are from the Broadway show, and they explain to us there's only one way to do this, and, and we're going to show you the way to do this. There's no room for interpretation. This is it. And usually, you know, being an actor, you like to think, oh, you figure out your own way and put your own stamp on something, which we, we kind of do, but he was exactly right. Like when he said, no, you need to read the line like this, it, emphasis on this word, kind of like a line reading, and most actors hate that, but he was exactly correct. Um, there's only one way to play the show, and that's for real, for truth, and just play it for like it's a serious drama for him, for King Arthur, and that's what makes it funny. It's not a thankless role by any means, but it's like playing Perone in Evita, where you're not, you're in it the whole thing and you're kind of guiding the story, but, but you, I don't have the wacky, crazy things. I'm kind of like the person who takes you on the journey to meet all these crazy, wild people. Um, I, for personal reasons, I'm uh, a gay man and I have a partner at home and he's home taking care of the house and the four dogs. Um, and besides talking on the phone every night, I've only seen him for a week out of these nine months. So I decided to take this year off. And go, next year, the year after that, we'll see what happens. I know Spam a Lot is going out next year and it's probably going out the year after that again also. So we'll see what happens.